welcome back Sci-Tai Tech. In this video I'm going to do a viewer's request where a viewer has requested me to take this full spectrum camera and turn it into a night vision camera. In a previous video I showed you how to modify this camera by simply removing the IR cut filter and turning it into a full spectrum camera. To view that, click on the annotation card on the top right. This camera right here is sensitive to infrared light, so therefore I can use this low aperture lens, which is a 1.8 aperture, which can photograph and film very well in a low light. And I have these really bright infrared flashlights, which allows me to be able to shine infrared light, which this camera can easily pick up on. For example, when you look at this infrared flashlight, you can see a little purple dot. Using my own eyes, I see a red dot. And the camera that is filming this sees this purple dot, which is a little bit more sensitive because this camera has an IR cut filter, which is blocking the infrared light. Switching into night vision mode, becomes a lot brighter because the IR cut filter that is in this camera that you're viewing this video in is removed temporarily, allowing me to be able to film in night vision. And now it's time to go ahead and test out this camera and see how well this works as a night vision camera, or more accurately, a night vision full spectrum camera. Let's get started. Right now I am testing out the video mode since this will be the most common thing that anyone would want to do with this kind of camera. And as you can see, it doesn't work very well in the dark, only if I come up close to something. Now I can adjust the settings on this camera, and using a white balance, I'm using the sunlight mode, which makes everything red. If I were to change it to incandescent, everything comes out more blue and purple. And again, same problem, only works when I'm up close to something, and looking at something far away, it doesn't work. And as you can see, it doesn't work very well. Using this camera as a night vision video camera isn't a good idea unless you want to film things up close. However, you can film this in full spectrum in the dark, only if you have extra light, such as a little bit of natural ambient light, or just before the sun sets, where you have a little extra light, and using the infrared flashlights will also help as well. And now let's go and see how well this photographs. And as you can see, this camera photographs very well in the dark with using this low aperture lens, allowing me to photograph in very low light. And with this camera, it has an automatic mode for whenever I photograph in the dark, it opens up the iris longer, which then allows in more light to be able to photograph in the dark. And with adjusting the white balance mode on this camera, I can put in incandescent, which comes out purple. And when I put it in sunlight mode, it comes out red, which is a very nice feature. And if you wanted to, you can always use this camera for ghost hunting. Such as this photo right here, I might have caught a ghost, although this could be just a dust particle. And this is what it looks like if I don't use the infrared flashlights and just use the camera alone in the dark, and it comes out completely dark like this. Using the infrared flashlight enhances the view, which then looks like this, and this is what it looks like if I photograph from a distance as well. Using this camera as a night vision camera is very good to use if you're planning on just photographing, not filming. Photographs come out very nice in the dark, especially if you're using the infrared flashlights, and it works from using it from long distances or close-ups. Everything in the photos look very interesting and a little bit eerie, especially if you're adjusting the white balance on the camera from incandescent to sunlight mode. And there you have it. Now you know how to take a Sony A58 full spectrum camera and use it as a night vision camera. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click the bell icon to be notified for future SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.